Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got a great interview with a gentleman named J.R. Johnson. He runs the Legacy Advantage Group. And that's his turns, baby. Let me go ahead and turn it over and ask some basic questions. How you doing today, Jr.? Man, I'm doing great, Gary. Let me tell you something. If I had your energy, I'd be a multimillionaire every single day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> let me just ask you some basic questions. Now, how, how, now, what kind of business are you in? Tell me a little bit about your business. Uh, well, we're in the uh, final expense life insurance business, okay? You want me to look at this? I one? want you to look at the camera. Look at the camper. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody, <laughs> look at there. I'd be like Gary. All right. Um, so we're in the final expense life insurance business, and basically what we do is we help people every day with their uh, funerals, their cremations, things like that. We just want to make sure that whenever you pass away from this earth that you don't leave a burden on your family. And that's what we specialize in, and we are one of the best in the nation at it. So Now, he's really, really good. This is his own personal business. This is Legacy Advantage Group. And uh, let me ask you a question. How did you get into sales, by the way? Ooh, that's a loaded story, man. I was uh, actually back in 1993. I left the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and... Um, you know, I was making a, a tiny, tiny bit of money. I thought it was a lot of money back then. It was $22,000 a year, but, you know, it wasn't worth all the, the danger and everything else that we were in. So I decided to get into sales. I had some, uh, my mother told me, actually, I could sell ice to an Eskimo. So I uh, tried with an ice company. I went to Pure Ice of the South. <laughs> and uh, actually, I was, uh, I was actually the number one salesperson for Pure Ice of the South. I was Dang. there for about a year. And uh, funny story, I was making six cents a oh, bag. Oh, no, he didn't. Six cents a bag, commission only. Oh, and my, my first year, I made almost double what I made at the sheriff's office. I oh, made, my I made about $37,000. That was selling um, ice to Eskimos. Selling ice to Eskimos, <laughs> man. So that's how I got into sales. It evolved from there. I became a uh, real estate agent, a mortgage licensed mortgage broker. Um, always, ever since then, been in sales. And about, uh, I guess about... 15 years ago, had a buddy of mine get into insurance, and uh, he told me that uh, this was the job, this is where I needed to be, that I could make a lot of money, I could help a lot of people, and um, I was like, okay, 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 and I didn't do anything for about three or four years. Finally, uh, the market crashed with the real estate, and you know, back in 2005, 2006, when everything went south, and um, so... I said, all right, well, let's give this insurance thing a, a try and been here ever since. Dang, that's really impressive. Now, a question that's really got in my mind, why are you so successful, How, why are you so successful at what you do? I am sexful, too. You are okay. sexful, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good time, right? <laughs> um, basically, it boils down to one thing, and that's work ethic. Um, you know, the, there's a lot of different carriers out there. There's a lot of different programs, a lot of different insurance companies. And the one key component to every successful person is drive and determination, attitude, effort. And, uh, you know, we ha we've got all the tools. We can give you the tools to be successful. Uh, most companies out there can. But it boils down to personal self-discipline. And I think that's the biggest key to my success. And as far as the people that work for you in this regard, how do you make them so good at what they do? What makes them, what, what is your special sauce that you offer to your people? Special sauce. Uh -huh. It's a secret ingredient, I can't tell you. <laughs> but actually, I'll give you the initials. It's W-O-R-K. Okay. W-O-R-K. That works. Um, you know, <laughs> while others are resting, mm. keep grinding. Dang. Work. Work is the thing. Um, but how do I how do I uh, translate that to a new agent to somebody that's coming on board somebody that's just getting in the insurance business? Uh, basically, we've got an awesome training program. We have a very comprehensive online training program, um, and then once you've completed that, we spend time with you one on one, mentoring, training you, putting you in the car with us, taking you out to uh, watch what we do, how we do. Then we observe you. We make the corrections necessary. And then we stay in touch. It's communication. You know, communication is key to any successful person. So uh, I think that's the secret sauce. That's a pretty good sauce. Sauce already! And let me ask you this question. How do you like being a business owner? That's got to be really a hard job. I mean, what, what makes you so great at it? Passion. Passion for people. Passion. Um, you know, first and foremost, I love my family. I want to I be uh, successful for them. You know, I love my wife. I got a lot of uh, great kids and grandkids and um, it, it, it's important to me to show them that no matter what you do, 
uh, you do it 100%. You plug yourself in, you give it your all, uh, succeed, fail, whatever it is, if you can go to bed at night and say, hey, I gave everything I had to give, um, then that's a successful day. Um, you know, what, as a business owner, there's challenges sometimes, you know, you, 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 there's a lot of hiring and a lot of rehiring and a lot of training and retraining, but again, what really keeps me on path is helping someone else, helping another person be successful for their family. So that's what's really important to us. That is so awesome. Now, if you had to give some good advice to a new salesperson or a person who's coming into the insurance business, what would be something that comes to your mind at this time? You know, the biggest thing that I can give people advice-wise is just don't give up. Um, You know, Tiger Woods, let's use that for an example. A lot of people out there watching this play golf. Tiger Woods was, at some point, a beginner, okay? He had to go out there and practice. He had to go out there and swing that club 10,000 times, sometimes 10,000 times a week, to become the success that he is. It didn't happen overnight. It took, you know, 10 years, 20 years. Tiger's been playing for a long time. That's a long time. It's the same thing here. Don't come into this business expecting to be J.R. Johnson, okay? I've put in 30 hours. Um, 30,000 hours. I wish I put in 30 hours. Uh-huh. I've put in 30,000 uh-huh. hours of practice. That's a lot. Um, so, you know, my closing ratio, my uh, the way I build rapport and things, it, it's, it's been honed over time. I've been doing this. Uh, unfortunately, I'm an old dog in this business because I've been doing this for almost 12 years. That's a long time. Um, so, you know, there's a very high fail ratio. And I, I say that number number one thing is because of lack of self-discipline. Number two thing is lack of communication. Um, I think if you handle those two things, that uh, everything else will fall into place. Communicate with your upline, with your leadership. Uh, let them know what's going on. Everybody wants to see you succeed. Nobody wants to see you fail. Um, so just plug into the system, communicate with your upline, and never give up. That's some good advice. Did you hear that? It's from J.R. Johnson from the Legacy Advantage Group. Okay. And one more thing that I want to ask. J.R., do you still work out in the field? <laughs> yes, I still work out in the field. I go out there and door knock. I set appointments. I talk to people on the phone. I am involved 100% of the time. So, yes, I do. That is a great thing. Did you hear that, guys? You know, not always we start at the top. It's not how we start. It's how we finish. And I'm really grateful to JR. Thank you so much, JR, for giving us some great advice on how to be awesome in the field of selling. And insurance, everybody's dying to meet you, I got to say. I would imagine. Is that right? I don't know if they're dying to meet me, but uh, (laughs) they're definitely dying to go to the cemetery. (laughs) All right. Well, we just had a great conversation with J.R. Johnson with the Legacy Advantage Group. And let me tell you something, folks. We're real important salespeople, and we really matter. So do me a favor. Go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. So do me a favor. Go out there and sell something. And don't forget, insurance. Oh, okay, it's a real good thing, so go ahead and get you some, and have a nice day. All right.